looking at? All of it. You, I'm not even going to look at the air. I think video is from the camera. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a little, I look a little confused. <laughs> Girl, oh, I want to ask you a question. Mm. You one of the people, you know, who actually was in the physical, who actually went inside the FBG Duck courtroom. You know, I said I wasn't going to talk about this no more because the trial ended. But this video just dropped. Mm -hmm. Mama Duck went live today. Girl, oh, she said Duck Fingers was shot off. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. So here's the thing. Um, I've been covering the trial very closely. Okay. I work for Complex. I'm um, a Complex News editor. It's a media outlet okay. owned by BuzzFeed. Okay. So I'm literally a reporter in this bitch. Like, I was in that bitch. Some people wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of drama that happened around the case, though, because a lot of bloggers did pull up. I, I, mean, I wasn't going to that. That's real. Hold on, hold on. We got to talk about that. They pulled up like the first time and shit. Playing in that courtroom and shit. Niggas flew. Right. <laughs> into Chicago for this court case. I mean, right. honestly, though, this is going to go down in hip-hop history. This is one of the most prolific cases. Right. Yeah. Honestly. Thanks. You know, there was Tupac, Biggie, and then I feel like it was FBG Duck. <laughs> a lot of people weren't paying attention. Like the media didn't um, pick up on it as much as they did like, the duck. I mean, yeah. the thug case. With Chicago was, media, but not big time. But they media. did when right. the birthday came though. When the birthday came, no, like sometimes the Tribune they picked up on it, but right. the way they're covering the YSL case, this case was way more interesting. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. I mean, what do you guys think? You know, a video <laughs> just got released. I ain't gonna say I wanted to see Duck Lab's moments, okay? But when the video got released, I looked at it. I ain't gonna lie, you know. I, I'm surprised that somebody could just call you and you could just run into a life sentence. You know, I'm just a little shocked by that. Because when I look at the video, I mean, one person jumped out the car before it even stopped. The car was still riding and the motherfucker was already <laughs> jumping out in the shoot. You know, Duck. Um... I'm shocked by that, though, you know. those A lot of those guys, allegedly, who they say did it, you know. I'm not here to stamp anything like that. I ain't the police, but, you know, those brothers look like, you know, they threw their life away, you know. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I've been covering the case. I went to court several times okay. because I'm actually writing an article for Complex and just covering it. I did a video that we dropped it was about 90 seconds where i just summarized the case for people that weren't familiar with what happened i think that video right. um so i just summarized it for the the mainstream public but here's the thing i knew that video existed oh so you knew yes because in court they played the video oh. so they actually showed us this video and i'm i'm really shocked that it got leaked and i really want to know how all of these leaks are happening because this isn't the first leak we what had I don't, I mean, listen, I sent you something earlier today about this police officer that actually got booked for leaking stuff. So I think Oh, that, yeah, Quando Rondo. Yeah. Had a dirty cop on the scene and shit. Somebody's leaking wow. stuff, because this isn't right. the first leak we've had. Actually, the end of 2023, it was full of leaks. We right. got King Von in jail. That was a leaked video. Right. Um, the Lil J videos were leaked. Yeah, King Lil J. Yeah. yeah. And now this video All them leaked. jail interviews, like, after they got in fights and shit. It was leaked. Yep, so yep. who... The bigger question right now that I feel like a lot of people aren't talking about, who is leaking all this stuff? What is that? What is shit, that about? The damn, the damn COs and shit. Is it? It gotta be the like, CO. I mean, shit, they yeah. regular people, too. Yeah, they should. They want. They love. They, 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 they regular man. people. They be on the team. They be on the side. Uh, they be rooting for these guys. They be uh, rooting for them guys. Like, well, he's the op. Let's... Huh, huh. Let's leak it. That's how they do that shit. That shit ain't nothing new. And Dre, you actually had a conference with a lot of mothers from Chicago who passed away. It was Mama Duck there. You know, you had L.A. Capone Mama there. It be a lot of bad energy thrown towards Mama Duck. Mm -hmm. You done been around her. I interviewed her before, but it was like on some quick stuff. You done been around her, like been around her. Why do you think she catch that bad energy? You know, I just think the internet is just really a crazy place. Right. Um, the more that I just contribute to the internet and create content, I see that people are just crazy. Right. And they troll you, and they want to make up stories, and if they don't know any information about you, they'll make it up, and they'll uh. try to just, you know, combat you into something. 
Facts. Where they, it's like they kind of just do it for fun, and I think that um, a lot of people just don't know Sheena. Right. So it's like if you knew her, you would know that at her heart she just wanted justice <coughs> for her son, and. I just really hope like my mom rides for me like that if anything happens because listen right. the way that mama duck rode for her son was you know that was something else so right i just hope that if anything happens my mom rides for me like that and everything else could be taken into you know me and Rex were saying that too, though, about having somebody to rap for us. Like, Rex, you actually, I don't want to say this, throw this in the air, but you actually live in Chicago, right? Yeah. What was it like after that verdict came out? Was it man, dangerous outside? Was tell people y'all, sad, man. crying? I'm trying to tell y'all, man. All that Chicago shit y'all seen on the internet, bro, that shit is the internet, bro. Right. Motherfuckers, bro, like, nobody even paid attention, man. Like, unless they was paying attention, they ain't paying attention. Right. So I don't think Chicago, to be honest, like it was like it's a regular day. I don't know. I don't think it was. I, was I saying, wouldn't say like that. I said, the he internet, man, the internet is different. I'm talking about if you went outside, you ain't hit one motherfucker say nothing about that outside on the internet or on like oh block like on the internet is one thing, bro. Outside, motherfuckers be going to work and shit, man, putting gas in their car, like, picking up their kids from <laughs> Take school. Take care of their families. Yeah, you know, like niggas ain't really got time. To, hey, man, you heard what happened, like. That shit on the internet now, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I get you, I get you. You know, so now these guys are convicted. Um, it says that racketeering charges in a federal case holds a mandatory life sentence. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's so appropriate to give, you know, people young who make bad decisions like? I mean, it's really crazy because I think what Mwap's been in jail for maybe two years. He was 22 when he got locked up, now he's 24. Right. And he's the youngest one on the case. Okay. And for me, I just, I really couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life yes. in jail at 24. Like, yeah. I don't even, I'm not sure. I don't think he has kids. Um, But a life sentence at 24 is insane to me. So I can't even yeah. really comprehend that. And I really feel bad for the whole entire situation. I the whole that. entire situation. I feel bad for his, his family, him duck what they did like you know i talked about this on my channel a lot i feel like if everybody would have just kept it in rap it would have been amazing (laughs) right because it's like when you look at the news i mean one of the guys did a murder and while duck laying on the ground he texting his baby mama teasy yeah like i'm like i'm not saying they had i I never killed nobody so i don't really know the rules of it I don't think I niggas would kill nobody and five minutes later I'll be texting somebody with Yeah, nah, nah, niggas did goofy you know? shit. Nah, niggas did goofy shit, man. You know. Especially, but you know Especially Teasy, man. What do you think about the case? Because you've interviewed a lot of these people, you've covered both sides. Right. Um, what do you think? Because I feel like you spoke on it. You covered it actually extensively. Yeah. You made a lot of videos. Yeah. What did you think when you saw the footage of him actually getting murdered that was leaked? I thought that was shocking. Uh, to see Duck like that, you know, it's different hearing about it, but to see that video like that, you know, to see him fall down and shit, you know, I, I felt that 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 was sad. Um, yeah, she looked sad, bro. That know. was sad. But he was rolling, you know? rolling it was on the fast ground. Too. Shit, yeah. Yeah. It was like quick. Yeah, it was way quicker than you think. Was it? What they say, uh, sixteen seconds or something like that? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you another thing though. When I looked at that video, I kind of spoke on this on our first podcast that we did. You know, Duck been in the drill game for a long time, uh, Dre. You know, he's a legend in this shit. You know, he done been in a lot of situations. I'm pretty sure he know how to move and know where to go. Yeah. I was shocked that he didn't know that he was in the store with I. Hmm. You know, talking I, about Dave? Uh, no, Teasy. Okay. I'm shocked he didn't know. You know, first off, he was with the man, girl, you know, and then... You know, his name is THF Teasy. His name ain't just Teasy, it's THF. And you listen to the drill music. Maybe you know, he ain't no girl like that. Though. Neighborhood. Maybe he ain't you. Bro, you ain't never fucked the nigga, and then you don't know her other. I mean, you ain't never fucked the bitch, you don't know her other nigga. Now, I get that. I'm just yeah, saying, I'm surprised that Doug didn't know. You know, it was harm <clears throat> in the room with him, you know. I'm saying he ain't know. That shocked me, you know. I mean, they said, they said, they said he seen him, though. 
And they said they seen each other or acknowledged each other, so I think he did know. And when you look at the video, you know, nothing, because like I said, I'm gonna let this rest, but you know, new stuff keep coming out. I know. Uh, but when you look at the video, after they sh was shooting up, you know, one of them niggas ran up to the car and looked in that motherfucker. I'm talking about he ran up to the window, he, he looked in at this, and it looks like he spared the girlfriend. Mm. You know, I don't say he did, but it looked it like she, she stayed. Had a gun. She had a gun. And she, she blinked back. She, yeah, she, she, she shot back. back. So, right. That's why he didn't be too quick to, you know. Okay, right. You know but he did look in that one. You said he, he looked in that motherfucker. Hey, 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 that's crazy because I met Duck one time, right? I met that nigga one. Right. I met that nigga one time. I do want to say one thing, though. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people ask me about the videos that I do make on Duck. Um... A lot of people don't know. I'm actually one of the guys that actually spoke to Doug. You know, mm -hmm. I interviewed Doug. I spoke to him on the phone several times. He seemed like a regular dude. You know, he didn't seem like a bully when I spoke to him. You know, but R.I.P. Then. You yeah. Know? I think um, one of the big questions that are still remaining is who was Dede? Was Dede Muop's uncle, cousin? Like I feel like they a lot said of people, that was Muop's cousin. I spoke I to Dede. There was nobody that you spoke to him. I spoke after to Dede. Before, what did he say? I spoke to no, 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 not day day. I didn't speak to day day. I spoke to people that know the day. Okay, okay. Uh, I actually reached out to day day to interview him about like a year and a half ago, and uh, you know, people close to him told me to just leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so leave him alone. This nigga, truth man, truth be over. Yeah, 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 I know who he was. They, they like, told me leave him alone. He was a regular person. I, he was downtown. Right? He was shopping. He synced up and said what he asked him about his music. They told me specifically he is not Muwaka. See? They don't know where that came from. They say that came from the guy who makes fake videos up on me and everybody else. Oh. The guy with the mask on me. Oh. You know, he goes oh. on Shirak. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the weird right. dude. He goes on Reddit. He gonna probably make videos about me tomorrow and say I did some police shit and all kind of shit because he tries to tarnish my name, okay? Right. <laughs> you hear me? He, try, he just sits in his crib and makes fake videos. Yeah. He gets on Reddit and shot Rack College. That's your college. boy, right? <laughs> his name ain't gonna be said on him. I woke up in nah, the morning one day and this guy name. said that I participated in Duck Case. He said that I was an informant on this case. You know, this never happened. He right. actually woke up in the morning and made a fake video out to tarnish my name. What do you do when that happens? Yeah, that shit dangerous. It's very... Look, look, you know, I had to get on top of it. I did my video. And, you know, unfortunately, when he made the video, he was laughing in it. So people knew. But some people did hit me. You a rat. I want to hear you talking about. Right. It's a rapper. Bookie the G. Shout out Bookie. Shout out Bookie the G. I love Bookie um, the G. But yeah. Boogie the G posted some shit that hurt my heart. And I DM'd. I said, Boogie, I love you as a rapper. That shit hurt my heart with you posted. Why would he post? He posted my name with a rat sign. Damn. Because he just got done watching this video. I had to hit him quick. Like, bro, that video fake. I can't tell you that he hit me back and said, yeah, it might be true. But at that Damn, moment. Yeah, why niggas so thirsty, though? To, uh, to run with that. Uh, what the hell? The Look, the feds don't need nobody in duck case. That was Trent's news who found a way to make some money. Facts. Okay, he don't get no fuck about it. Say he ran to him. He found a way to make some money. You know, I can't help nobody do anything in the case. What the hell am I gonna do? I don't I don't live here. Yeah. I don't you know? So but that is dangerous though, but he makes videos off of Chiracology and Reddit and he puts it on YouTube to gossip and shit and he makes content. You know what? Yeah. I feel like we saw what happened to Zach TV. Zach TV. Yeah, Zach TV. He didn't deserve mm -hmm. anything that happened to him. Uh, uh. And I feel like he didn't realize it and he didn't know. He didn't realize how big of a legend that he would have been and uh. who he was. And I feel like his extra security level would have helped. Right. So, RIP Zach. And I, I feel like Zach. even though we might not be as big as we think or wherever we're supposed to be, it don't matter. We're in Chicago. Right. We got to move a certain way. We got to be careful. Did you know that you have That's all that? I've been trying to say. That's all I've been trying to say. You said I fuck with niggas that you don't fuck with. You said you said I fuck with niggas you don't fuck with. <laughs> I love Dre, man. Dre are real niggas. Dre, did you ever meet Zach TV in real life? You know, it's funny because we actually exchanged DMs okay. early on. Cause I had a I had a YouTube channel too for like the longest. The so. legendary YouTube channel. <laughs> I had my channel for so long. Yeah, she dropped like 
like since like 2011. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we talked like, about Like almost YouTube before channel. Keith type shit. It you was interviewed Yo Gotti too. I did. Oh, I'm, yeah, I remember that. What's your thoughts on this whole Yo Gotti big mm. Mm. And I think that uh, it goes back into kind of what we were talking about. Being comfortable in your own location, you might mm. get a little too comfortable. And um, stuff seems to happen in your own city a lot. Right. Which is so unfortunate because you want to come home, and you want to be comfortable, you want to build in your own community, but things like that happen. And I think a lot of times rappers get caught in their own city. That happens a lot. Right. And with Yo Gotti's brother, he got caught in his own city mm -hmm. at a funeral. His mom was there, his family was there, and that's mm -hmm. just super unfortunate. But I feel like, like we said, we got to just be extra, extra, extra careful. Even when you don't feel it in your body and you don't feel like anything's gonna happen you still gotta make sure you're straight because right. that's, that's when it happens that's happen. exactly right. so and you called your guy that interview was about seven years ago it was right a there, long right? time ago yeah it was a long time ago like seven years ago he um, was still big he was famous though then too well that was i ain't gonna lie god was my time. nigga back then that's when all his cars was white and, and I, he had the white lambo with the blue mm -hmm. top nigga, i just right. met um money bag at the time too oh, so money bag was with him but he wasn't even rapping yet he was just in also the he been new money then yeah money bag was always there it just oh. took him a second to really get, get, yeah. get going mm -hmm. and shit. oh i didn't know that yep money bag was with him um honestly we was i was having this conversation Yo. with a friend he actually has one of the successful labels right now. He got a lot of big artists on his label, like Glorilla. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Money Bag. Um, who else does he got on there? He got a lot of people. So shout mm. out to Gotti. But what happened to his brother is unfortunate. And, and you know, we've seen that before. Dirk's brother, also in Chicago. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So you just, you really got to just be careful. You know what? I got another good question for you, Drea. And it's for you too, Rex. I think this is a good question. I hear this <laughs> talking all the time about drill is dying. Ooh. Drill is dead, is dying. This ain't the lane to get in anymore. Okay, I want to ask this question because you be in New York. Mm -hmm. Is New York drill dying? Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? Okay. I'm happy that you brought this up because they're saying that Ice Spice is a drill rapper. Okay. And a lot of people don't know that. So honestly, if Ice Spice is a drill rapper, then drill is alive and it's it's popping. Cause Ice Spice is one of the biggest artists in New York. Um, drill has, you know, it went to New York and it changed. There's Bronx, there's the Bronx drill, it's Brooklyn drill. Okay, so it's different. Drill. It's different. It sounds completely different from Chicago. Uh, so it's not all same drill. Nah, it's different. But they're saying, like I said, Ice Spice is a drill rapper. So if Ice Spice is a drill rapper, then that means that drill is alive and well okay um so it's just it's confusing but honestly chicago drill is completely different from all these other drills what do you mean by that it just sounds different it's about different stuff new york drill sounds completely different right. from from chicago drill so it's just not the same they're inspired by us they watch us they you know they're just taking on what we built but right. they just changed it and put their own spin on it um, but I do want to actually bring up the topic of the evolution of drill in Chicago because now with the end of this FBG Duck case mm -hmm. and the O Block Six being convicted, mm -hmm. King Von and FBG Duck are both dead. Mm -hmm. What happens to the drill movement? Because that was actually a big, huge chapter. That was like the resurgence mm -hmm. after yeah, the, the Chief shit was Chief, starting after to die the, off. A yeah, bit. Mm -hmm. so it was reborn again, and now that's like the end of the chapter. With everybody getting locked up, yeah. so where does drill go from here? Are we waiting on the next drill artist to emerge? Are we moving <laughs> on to the sound? <laughs> right. Like, oh, that's a good question, Drill. Especially for you, the drill historian. Uh, where do you think drill is going to go for Chicago right let me now? Let go get bro. Uh, and they, uh, I ain't left. Yeah. Whoever, uh, whoever, uh, whoever uh, smoked uh, E Day, them niggas, the car they used, they burnt it in the alley behind my house. Yeah. How so, do you know that? How do you know that? So the shit happened. He they died like five blocks away from my crib. I had an interview with from my old day crib before he died. Remember, oh, remember, yep. remember, we had talked oh. about it, bro. Remember we had been, when this shit happened. I had, I had sent bro a little footage of the block, um, because it was a bogus ass block he was on. That he died. Yeah, like he wasn't supposed to be over there. He wasn't supposed to be over there. So, and it's like hella GDs over there and shit. Mm -hmm. But like my crib, how my crib is, the main street. I got the alley that like dip off the main street into the alley back onto the main street. 
the next morning, nigga, it was a Chrysler 300 on fire to the, to the, to the metal, nigga. I'm talking about they just let that bitch burn. It wasn't like somebody set on fire. They came. It was like that shit melted into the ground. I mean, when I move, nigga, you can still see pieces of the car melting into the ground, bro. So the nigga eat that, get smoked, and then the next morning, it's a Chrysler 300 burning in my house. Come on. You know what that is? He was, was a good dude, man. I don't know about the street shit, but he was a good dude. He actually got mad at me. Uh, he dissed me on the back TV. It went viral. What did he say? He was mad at me because, you know, I was one of the first bloggers to support Chase 600 when he came on. You know, I yeah. felt like shit, if I ain't see the paperwork, I'm going to still post it. I mean, the paperwork don't mean shit to me. I ain't his friend. I ain't a game bag in the street. He make music. He was mad at that shit. He went on Zach TV and, uh, Said some words about me on Zach, but we eventually got cool and later on like that. You got cool with who? He did. And he gave oh, me okay. an interview and we did an interview. I thought you got cool with Tay ass. That's I, what Tay I interviewed Tay yeah. too. You told him to got the dreads? He ain't got dreads no more. So the beauty guy? Yeah, he cut the shit off. You know, I was locked up with that guy. You were? I was locked up with him when he caught that case. Oh, is that good? The pipe case? Or did he have dreads or did when was he, he had dreads? I was oh, locked no, up when he cool. had dreads. I think he called. What year was this? Uh, was this like 2014? Was it 2014? 2013. I, I, I think he was like. They say drill dead, right? All right. You just said Bond and Duckman kind of held the resurgence, right? Mm -hmm. I think the next resurgence in the drill game is the blocker. Oh, 100%. I think that we've okay, already emerged. Mm. And I will give a little tidbit of information that I've learned from the industry. Okay. It's better together. It's mm. stronger in numbers. If you don't got to go to war and you don't got to be for people, don't. Sorry. It's better to be cool mm. than to start a war. You got to pick and choose your battles. <laughs> Right. You don't want to be beefing with everybody. It's way smarter for everybody to be friends and just to get along. Right. And if y'all end up beefing, then that's cool. Right. But don't intentionally try to beef with people. Hey, you point at me? You said that shit? I didn't point at you. <laughs> I'm just, I didn't point at you. But I'm just saying, like, that's what I've learned because it's longevity in the game. And you want to have allies. You don't want to be on a rock all by yourself alone with nobody fucking with you. That's not Thanks. smart. That's a fact. All the people at the top are collaborating. They're all friends. They all know each other. You pick and choose your battles. If you want to go to war with somebody, then that's cool. But you got to make sure you're strategic about it. Mm -hmm. And you're you're not just gaining all these enemies. You want people to be on your side. It's so, hard to get money in war time, man. I'm in a couple different blog <laughs> groups. Like, oh. I have a whole nother... I told you she'd be oh. fucking with the niggas, man. I told you. It's blogs. <laughs> You gotta be more specific. Stop fucking with me. I told you she cool with everybody. We always talk about this blog shit. We talk about, you know, shit going on in the hood, killings, all kind of shit, man. You know, kind of clean, you gotta cleanse your spirit sometimes. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> last thing I wanna add. That's though, true, real. man. <laughs> Any regrets? In, in, in what? In this blog shit, journalistic shit. Any regrets? Anything you regret ever doing as being a content creator? That's a really, that's a good question. Um, I don't regret nothing. I feel like everything is a lesson and I feel like we learn as we grow. Right. And everything that happened was supposed to happen because I'm a real spiritual person. I feel like if it was, if it happened, it was supposed to happen. I think the only thing that I will regret, <clears throat> and this is not a regret, it's just something that I learned. Not everybody is going to like you and that's okay. Right. And that's like something you got to deal with. And everything is entertainment. <laughs> And as we step into the light and we become these content creators that everybody are following and watching our lives, we just have to understand that right. everything is entertainment. I don't even take nothing personally uh -huh. anymore. Nothing hurts my feelings. Like, I'm a African girl that grew up in Chicago. Niggas roast in high school every day. Like, nothing hurts my feelings. I don't care. I don't read the comments. I don't care. I think that um, we just have to really not care whether the comments are positive or they're negative just keep creating content and don't let that affect you just keep creating your art and keep going and never stop you say african you was you born in africa nah, or you're, you're i'm american in i was born on the north side of chicago by okay. the red line by the africans and the jamaicans you know where you get the meat patties? Yeah. No, on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. that's where I was under, from. Underneath so the have, L. Yes. Y'all have I the L. Right, yeah, underneath yeah. the L. I was yeah. born in Chicago, so, so I'm do you not eat African, African food? 
Honestly, I'm American. Right. I was born here. My parents, both of my, my mom and my dad, are, are Ghanaian. They're from Ghana. Uh -huh. Like, my dad's real smart. He got a scholarship. My mom got pregnant. Okay. And they, they, they both. And they ran it up. Have you ever ate African food? Yeah. You ever ate African food? Man, look, I have never ate an African Bro, fufu, kinke. What is it's that white good. stuff that's just dipping the stuff in That's the fufu. fufu. Oh. Yeah, it, it's not, you don't really dip it, it's really your bread. Is it good? It don't taste, the fufu don't taste like nothing. It's about the sauce. So yeah. the fufu is just like. It's like your bread. Yeah, it's like bread. Yeah. It absorbs Is the it sauce. good? It's really good. Okay. You gotta really um like you should you should like figure out where you're from. Honestly, from where song, you look. Man, I nigga from Cameroon might, or nah, something. Nah, he Nigerian. I think you Damn You, you got like the Nigerian. Might not look Nigerian. Nigerian. That's that scammer shit. <laughs> That's that scammer shit. That's that scammer shit. You got the Nigerian. I ain't no scammer, man. I didn't do that. No, 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 no. I ain't right. saying it like that. I'm saying that shit. That's that. You got the Nigerian. <laughs> I'm Nigerian, Nigerian motherfucker smart, man. Both my parents are are Ghanaian, but I was born in Chicago. So I'm really American, but um, it's a lot of y'all though. Yeah. Speak on Chicago, I'm my bad. Chicago got a lot of good names. I just think the North Side doesn't get it. I, I, I asked Drea. She gave me kind of like a short version of any regrets he had. <laughs> what about you, Ray? On, 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 in terms of what? Any regrets in this blog shit? In the blog shit. In this internet shit, content creating shit, as long as you be on the Do you regret internet. any of the videos that you dropped? Yeah, any of the internet. recent ones that you had to regret? <laughs> it, was, it was funny, motherfucker. About man. my friends. See? Look, <laughs> at, least, at least you know I ain't bullshitting when I be like, Shorty got friends. You know what I'm saying? She okay. got any regrets when we get up out of here? <laughs> Absolutely right? not. Mm. I, don't re I regret nothing. Mm. I stand on everything. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You and the only time I ever took a video down is because I had friends mm. of friends of friends of friends. So it was a maintaining of friends because mm -hmm. I value people more than money or clout or any of that. So I'd rather have my friends that have some fame or something. So when I saw that my friends, including Dre, but other friends too, when I saw that shit, when I saw their reaction, I said, oh man, I'm finna, I'm finna, what y'all say? Oh, you finna be by yourself over there. I ain't want to be by myself. That's a fact. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something else though. When I notice with the money though, with the money, money. it's like the money it, it blind you from the trip. It blind you okay? from the trip. It's like what life, do you mean? It's like to me, it's like life is like one big bus ride. Okay, one yeah, you take me out, take me. It's like what one kind of big bus? ass bus. The ride, yellow right? bus? Are you talking about the China bus? One big bus. bus. They, they don't know about the China bus. Oh, they don't know about the China bus. Check this out, right? When that's you get to your the dope on the China bus. <laughs> Check this out. I when you hate, get to your stop, I, I wrote the you channel bus know? one time. It was trash. You don't got to show no idea. When you get to your nothing. final nah, stop, you down. it's crazy on the channel bus. Okay. Just jump okay. on the back of that Check this out. It's this bus. When you get on this bus, when you get to the final stop where you got to go, I call that death. Okay? Okay. So while you on this bus, you riding, so many people focus on chasing the money, they forget to look out the window. Okay? Mm -hmm. You That's trying right. to forget to enjoy the ride. You know? You chase this money so much, you know, and and, and and you notice that shit, you done spent 10 hours chasing the money and spent 30 minutes playing with your kids. You know? Damn. That's real nigga shit, man. You know, I, I, chasing the money, it, 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 it took me away from my family. My biggest regret is on my journey doing this internet shit, I ain't bring enough people with me. Mm. You know, I, I did a lot of this shit. Are you a little own. bit lonely? Tell the truth. Now, I wouldn't say I'm lonely. I'm going to say as far as like, you know, I should have took my nephew, made him my editor. I'm going to say truth teller got bitches. the same you know? way. Yo, hey, I, hey no, truth teller got bitches. I be trying stuff. to put my friends in, 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 in like positions. They don't be like, having the draft you get. So they can't be up. They can't be, be there. Right. You realize the draft you get when you try to put your dream on somebody else and shit. You be like, uh -huh. damn, they not. It's hungry and shit, so it, it it don't never hit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you want it to be perfect like that, but it's not. You damn right. near have to just go where you're going and meet new people on the way, which is right. hard. And when you do that though, with Dre, mm -hmm. you meet new people instead of putting your own people on. Right now, it's like I got this table with all this food on it and shit, and I'm just eating this shit in front of him. And you wish somebody was with you eating dinner. Right. So I'll be the same way. You can't share, I'll be well. the same way. So it's like. If you the only one get it's like you I regret not making my nephew an editor, making my cousin, you know, bodyguard. Man, you know, they like, ain't want it though. You know? If they wanted it, they'd have told you, nigga, you true to like 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 turning into anger I towards know I, me. All my friends make like everybody in my life, I put them in position to make money. If I can. And like if I make money, right. you gonna make money too. And I'm gonna try to invite you. <laughs> right. And if you don't take the invitation and you don't do it, all I could do is just try to invite you. 
So I don't regret it after the fact because it's like they just wasn't ready for the opportunity if they didn't take it. See what I'm saying? Damn. And you're going to meet somebody that's going to be perfect for you. You just have to like hold on and wait for it. Thanks. Hey, that go back. That go back.